Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel, Programming Knowledge. In today's Adobe Illustrator Tutorials video, we are going to see that how can we create Iron Man's mask in Adobe Illustrator. So in this tutorial, we are going to see that how can we create a vector for Iron Man's mask in Adobe Illustrator. And when following this tutorial, what I have done is used a very simple method so that all of the beginners who are using this tutorial can easily create one Iron Man mask vector for themselves very easily in Adobe Illustrator. So for that, what do you need to do is first of all, get an image of an Iron Man mask like this one for yourself. And please remember to make sure to download a vector image like this. So one more thing if you want this same image for yourself then i will share its download link in the description so you can just get this image for yourself then when you have got your image you can just open it up in adobe illustrator and once you have opened up your image what you got to do is just go to this layers area and make sure to lock your image like this just click over here and a lock sign will appear so you won't be able to move your image here and there. Then from here just create a new layer and then grab onto the pen tool. Then uh, just go to view and make sure that your smart guides is turned on. Then what you are going to do is just select a point where you think is the midpoint of this Iron Man mask. Just click on it and begin tracing your image as precisely as possible. If needed, you can also zoom in into your image a little bit to make sure uh, to get the most precise view for yourself. And then just trace in at all these points like this. Now this is the reason why we chose smart gates cause it told us where exactly our intersecting point is lying. Then once you have covered one shape, then you can just continue with the other shape as well. If you want, you can just get rid of the fill uh, to make sure that you get the precise boundaries for yourself.
and once you have completed the tracing make sure to fill it again and then start with the next shape Again, uh, just uh, change its fill to a none and complete this fill shape and change its fill back to a solid color and then continue with this last shape. Now, once you have completed all of your shapes, you can just review your uh, shapes all together so that any changes if you want to make, you can make them very easily. like over here so just grab onto the direct selection tool so that you can uh, manipulate the single anchor points instead of the whole shape to adjust its settings like this okay so far so good and that looks amazing like this yeah now what we are going to do is just select all of these shapes together by pressing on the shift key and then uh, i'm just going to group them together so right click and here you will find an option of group so just group them then just press ctrl c to copy them and ctrl shift v to paste it in place then go to the toolbar here you will find an option of reflect tool just click on it and reflect on this shape by pressing on the shift key this will help you get a straight reflection or an inverted reflection for your shape and then drag it like this so that your two shapes are somewhat looking like this now this is what we have got as a vector of the iron man mask now what we are going to do is just select both of these portions go to windows here you will find an option of pathfinder just select on it and in pathfinder there is an option of unite so just click on it now uh, once you have to do that it's time to color it so for that what we have done is uh, we have created a square with these two hexadecimal values and these are the exact two values that our Iron Man mask is composed of. So we are going to color it with these two values. And if you want, you can just copy these values from here. Then uh, you can just select your shape, grab on the color picker tool and pick this color. So when you do that, you will see that your shape is converted into something like this. And then we are just going to uh, delete this image from the background. Then we are going to cover our background with this uh, color. So for that, just grab onto the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle covering the whole of your background area. And then grab on the color picker tool and just pick this red color. So this is the kind of the final vector that we have got. And then what you can do is just select on this mask and change its stroke to a none so that it looks more defined now so that is all in today's adobe illustrator tutorials video i hope you all have enjoyed it for more such tutorials keep watching the youtube channel programming knowledge till then goodbye